Carrying on from the previous video, I'm now going to show you how to record supplier payments on QuickBooks Online. So in the previous video, we added a bill, we recorded an invoice from a supplier, example supplier one. You go to new transaction, click on bill, and enter the details on the bill or the invoice. So you would go through, put in the terms, the date, the invoice, the reference number, the nominal code or account you want the bills to be posted to, the details on the invoice, the invoice description, and the amount, click save and close, and then the bill is added to QuickBooks Online. To record these bills as being paid, we simply just go to the right of the bill that we want to record as paid and click on make payment. If make payment isn't showing, you might need to click on the drop down arrow here and find it in that list. Alternatively, you can go to new transaction at the top here and there might be a payment option in this list. But if we want to mark this thousand pound invoice as paid, the invoice dated the 3rd of May, I click on make payment and simply fill in the details on this screen. So we have the supplier, we have the payment date. So let's say this was paid yesterday, the 9th of May. You can put in a reference number if you want to. It's totally optional. You don't have to put anything in this box if you don't want to. The amount we're paying and the allocation to the invoice. So we want to pay a thousand pound against this invoice here, the 3rd of May. The only thing else to check on this screen is this current account here is which account is this being paid from. So if this is being paid from Barclays business account, we want to make sure that the Barclays business account is selected at the top of the screen. If I click save and close, this invoice will be marked as paid and the payment is showing on the supplier's account. If we now want to record this invoice as paid, simply click make payment and fill in the details. Let's say this one was paid from a different account. So let's say the NatWest account this time. And let's say it was paid today, 10th of May. And let's say we part paid this invoice. We only paid 250. So let's put 250 in here. And then we can allocate 250 against this invoice. Click save and close. That will then record a payment of 250 to this supplier's account and to this invoice. I have gone through this quite quickly, but I'm assuming you've watched all the other videos in this course. If you haven't done, then please go back to the beginning and start from the beginning because this is all very similar to the customer side of QuickBooks Online and recording payments from customers. Obviously, this is payments to suppliers, but the process is very similar and I covered that in a lot more detail. In the next video, we will come to an end of the supplier side of QuickBooks Online. I'll go through viewing the supplier's account, editing the supplier's account, and then we will be on the last video of this course, of this tutorial, which will cover reports on QuickBooks Online.